this video today we're going to learn how to make curved text using SketchUp's Shape Bender plugin. Now Chris Fulmer's Shape Bender program is an excellent plugin tool for SketchUp. My hat's off to him for writing the code to create this great tool. However, when I tried to make some curved text, I really got some unexpected results and it really drove me crazy for a couple hours trying to figure it out. I googled and I could not find any instructions on how the program works, specifically where to put the straight line and curve line with respect to the text. So I decided to make this video to show you how to make curved text. Hopefully it will save you some headaches and shed a little light on how the program seems to work. Now here's a typical example where you might want to make curved text. Let's say you're making a 12 inch by 16 inch sign and the header or top word at the top, you like that lettering to be two and a quarter inches tall, but you would like it to have to be curved. So we're going to run through this example to show you how to do it and how not to do it. It doesn't matter what font it is for this example. I was using this Polita, Polita font. You could use Times New Roman. It doesn't matter what the font is. But notice that I've put in the desired curve that I want the text to follow. And then I also have put in the desired curve text length. Now I want the length of the curve text to be the same as the original in this case. So I drew two lines down and then I added my curve that I wanted and I added a straight line. The next thing I did in SketchUp was to take my sign and make that a group. The tool doesn't seem to work so well if you do not make it a group <clears throat> and it's just a rectangle uh, filled inside. It seems to work better if you uh, lay it upon a group. So I made a group of my sign as shown here. Now for the plugin to work properly you need a uh, straight horizontal line that's not connected to anything else. You also need a curve line, and that's the line of curvature you want the text to follow. If you try connecting that, uh, or uh, using the straight line under the curve that's connected to the curve, the program won't accept that line. So you need to have a separate line uh, of the length, horizontal line, the length that you want the text, the curve text to be, and then a separate curve line. Now we have reached the critical stage where you actually use the plug-in tool. <clears throat> so remember that the sign is a white group here. And then my text that I want to use is at the bottom, as shown here, uh, directly up, and it's straight horizontal text. Above it is a straight line, and that's the length that we want the curved text to be. And above that is the cur curvature I want to follow which is the same length as a straight line. So you select your bottom text in this case first, then you go into the plugin tool and you choose shape bender. Then you select the horizontal line, it'll ask you to do that. Then it'll ask you to select the curve line and you basically hover over the line until it changes color and that's when you know you can select it. And once you've selected that curve line, the curved text is created magic. Then you hit enter to finish the process. And as shown here, given the uh, placement of the bottom text, the straight line and the curve line, it put the curved version near the top of the sign, which is fine. Now it turns out that the placement of the three objects, uh, meaning the straight line, the text, and the curve line, where they're located with respect to each other has a big influence on how the program works. I wish I could explain to you how it works, but I don't understand it. What I can tell you is if you use this configuration shown here with a straight line on the bottom, then the text, then the curved on top of it, and you run it through the plugin, it'll create the curved text fine. It just puts it up above the sign. And that's not a big deal because you can move it back down to where you want it on there. But it does show you the impact of how you uh, arrange those three objects. Now, when I was first using the program, 
I had a configuration similar to this with the text at the top and then below it was the curved line and below that was the straight line. So I selected the text and I went into the uh, plugin and I chose the uh, straight line and curve line and I didn't, uh, I think I did see the text. I hit enter and the new curved text disappeared completely from the screen. And I thought, what the heck is going on? When I zoomed out in the view far enough, I discovered the curved text as shown on the bottom right hand corner here. And it was not curved in the right plane. It was actually curved in the wrong plane. And uh, it's rather bizarre how that works. So I hope you've learned a few ways that should work for you trying to curve text, like for a sign, and uh, how important it is how the three elements are arranged with respect to each other. And the couple of examples I've shown here, they will work for you. Um, maybe someday uh, the gentleman will uh, publish some instructions on how the program works. But until then, uh, good luck with your project. Thank you. Thank you.